With rows and rows of trophies here at Glenville High School, it might seem easy to be a successful student athlete, but that's not always the case, and students learned about that firsthand from a very special visitor and former tar blooder who you might be used to seeing on the field on Sundays. Before Jaron Elliott was a professional athlete in the NFL, he was a student athlete at CMSD. I know exactly how they're feeling, what they're going through at the time, because you know I sat in these same very seats like five, six years ago. So and this is very important to try to reach them because I know what I've been through. I know how it was to, you know, not know, like have to be hungry at night, and not be able to eat. Um, not knowing where you're going to sleep at sometimes. The Green Bay Packers linebacker shared his candid story about growing up in the Glenville neighborhood, admitting he didn't take his academics very seriously and struggled to graduate on time. I feel like I let everybody down who work with me so hard. Like the seniors, they're, they're going to be on the real road next year, so I'm trying to give them advice just to t uh, help them carry on. Uh, they could take with them. You got to have a plan. Wherever you go, you got to have a plan where you want to go. His advice hit close to home for many students in the auditorium, like Travis Jarris, who missed the chance to be on the football team this year due to his attendance. I mean, he missed school, go to class late, we go through the same problem, so it's the same thing. He just, he just showed me now that I can still make it because he grew up around the same surroundings as me, so him talking about it coming back, it just helped me motivate me to do the same thing. That motivation is exactly what students needed, according to Principal Jacqueline Bell, who remembers Elliott's challenges in high school. Anything that you want to dream about and, and really, really work hard, you can achieve it. Um, I'm glad that he brought up about the testing because the test is only two months away, so that was just like, oh, wow right on time. And Elliot also took time for questions, photos, and one-on-one -on -one conversations with students. He told them one day he wants to be a teacher or coach, hoping to leave a lasting impact greater than sacking quarterbacks. People will try to drag you down, kick you out, but you gotta just stand up and fight through it. As long as you come here ready to work, um, ready to, to get better, whether it's sports or in school, the sky's the limit. Several other students told me they left feeling inspired and motivated to work even harder. Reporting from Glenville High School, Shannon Kantner, CMSD-TV.